What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. We have the new Galaxy Book Go in-house today and I want to talk about Samsung's latest basically entry-level price point notebook that runs full Windows 10, 4 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage. There will be a future model that's going to have 5G connectivity built in. It is not available just yet but it will be coming. Stay tuned. So like I said, this is in their budget segment, one of their entry level models. It comes in at $349, which for what you get for the design and feature set, running that new chipset as well, uh, it's a great deal. You're really going to find a lot of notebooks, including Chromebooks, running this new processor. I believe it's that Intel 7N chip or something of that nature. Let me go ahead and unbox this, show you guys what this looks like, and let you guys make the decision if this is going to be your next budget notebook. So as you can see here too, as well, it is that Qualcomm 7C chipset, 14 inch full HD display. It does have four gigs of RAM, like I said, 128 gigs of storage. There is no HDD, it is all US, UFS storage, as I said. So, comes in one color right now. It is gonna be that silver. One beautiful thing about this is you can actually charge it with any USB port, USB-C I should say, and any adapter that works with it. It does not need a massive brick due to the power consumption of this device. It is phenomenal. It's rated at about 18 hours supposedly and you can see this looks no different than any of Samsung's regular phone bricks. So huge benefit, USB-C to USB-C cable and that wall adapter right there. Go ahead and slide off all of this stuff. You're going to have your regular reading material. We'll pluck that, set it to the side, and get right to the laptop itself. And here's the back. You can see your two speaker grills, a couple of rubber legs to keep it propped up. There is the actual notebook there. And let's move this off to the side. And there it is. Definitely looks nice for this price point. It is a little wobbly, you can see, but it is a plastic shell. It's kind of what you would expect. There is no fingerprint sensor in the power button, but one unique feature it does have is it does lay 180 degrees flat. As you probably saw right there as well, you do have your security port, a full USB spot, USB type C adapter, Another USB Type-C port right here, headphone jack, and a micro SD card slot. So yeah, not too much to it. Very slim, definitely a good looking device. I'm really curious to put it through the paces and see exactly how well that, that new processor works for the battery consumption. I want to see what it's rated at, how true it is to the actual real life testing. That's it for this one, guys. Let me know what you want to see and hear about for this device. I'll be happy to do it in a follow-up video. Comment down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, and we'll be doing a lot more coverage on this in the near future. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.